five, four, three, two, one, ignition, engines full power, and lift off. Go Falcon, go SpaceX. You're looking at Friday's SpaceX launch of an advanced GPS satellite into medium Earth orbit. It's one of a handful of recent launches for SpaceX, which experienced some hiccups this week. Tuesday's Starship Flight 9 mission ended in failure after a series of mid-air mishaps, and now the Federal Aviation Administration is calling for an investigation. Micah Maidenberg joins us now for more. He's a space reporter for The Wall Street Journal. Micah, thank you for being here. Uh, tell us about Friday's launch. Yeah, SpaceX uh, launched a GPS satellite developed by Lockheed Martin. Uh, this is for the, the U.S. Space Force, for the Pentagon. Uh, the uh, launch and deployment appear to have gone very well. The military officials called this flight an, uh, a success uh, earlier this afternoon. You know, the, the one of the things that's really interesting about this particular launch is the, the military and the companies involved said they were able to get this GPS satellite deployed, launched and deployed in about three months. And that's much, much faster than the typical timeline uh, to get a, uh, a national security, an important satellite, satellite like this one uh, on orbit. Um, you know, the goal there was to just show that this could be done quickly in the event in the future, um, that, you know, that muscle memory is there to, to move quickly to launch satellites. What do you know about this FAA investigation into Starship? Right. So uh, the FAA is requiring SpaceX to carry out an investigation into why part of their Starship uh, space vehicle failed um, on that Flight 9 that happened on, on Tuesday. You know, the, these are like pretty typical after any kind of mishap or anomaly with a, a private space launch. Um, the FAA goes to the company involved and says, look into this, try to figure out what the root cause is, tell us what you're going to do differently or tell us what you're going to do to fix what happened so it doesn't happen in the future. And then the company takes that report, that investigation to the FAA to get final, uh, final, excuse me, sign off to start launching again. As we know, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk's tenure as a special government employee came to an end Friday. What is next for him as he returns to his companies? What, quite a bit. Um, you know, from Tesla to SpaceX to, to XAI, Neuralink, um, and Mr. Musk is going to have a lot on his plate. Um, you know, Tesla has sort of borne the brunt of a lot of um, consumer anger for people that don't agree with, you know, choices that Mr. Musk made politically. Um, but yeah, so he's going to be dealing with that. At SpaceX, one of the biggest challenges is just to get sort of Starship from a developmental or experimental stage into operations. Um, you know, Musk said this week again that he's hoping to fly an uncrewed you know, sort of Starship test mission to Mars at the end of next year. Um, it, he, he, it's unclear if that's going to be possible given the state of, of that vehicle right now, but we'll see. I mean, he, he gave it a 50-50 shot. All right, Micah Maidenberg, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. More than two months after returning to Earth, Starliner astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams are reflecting on what they learned from their unexpected nine-month stay on the International Space Station. CBS Evening News Plus anchor John Dickerson spoke with the astronauts. You were up there looking at Earth. You are now back down on Earth. You've been through this before, but, you know, so few humans get to do what you have done. Anything you notice about that and the way you just look at the world now? Uh, you know, it never gets old. I'll just say that, John. You can go to space, uh, you know, a hundred times and it would never get old. One, our planet is just incredible. You see different things every single time you go up there. I really wish everybody had an opportunity to take a lap around the planet. It's just incredible. And then, you know, when you have a little bit more time and you start looking out toward the universe, it's it really makes you wonder. You can catch more of John Dickerson's interview with, with, with Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams Friday night on CBS Evening News Plus. That begins at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern.